Like Pat said, my name is Jim Johnson. Uh, I'm an instrumentation technician with the uh, electrical and instrumentation department. Uh, I've been here about, what, six or seven months? He's our newest employee. Six or seven months. Uh, the one thing I like to say about the district here is that the people have been really friendly and welcoming me, and so it's, it's a great place to work. It's a great environment. As an instrumentation technician, as the word says, instruments, uh, we have instruments all over the grounds that measure things and tell, tell us, uh, especially in the operations department, how we're doing with our processes. Uh, those can be, uh, instruments can include uh, laboratory type instruments that will measure things like chemical properties like pH, uh, the, the, what we call turbidity, which is the clarity or clearness of our water. If you're drinking a bottle of water or a glass of water, you'd like it to be pretty clear, right? Instead of kind of, kind of cloudy, you know. Well, that's the turbidity or clarity of our water here as we go through the processes. Uh, is an indication for us of how well we're doing in cleaning the water till we ultimately get it to the point where, it, where it's safe to drink. So we have instruments that, that measure that. We have a lot of instruments all over that uh, tell us things like how, how deep the water is in a tank, you know, or how fast water's moving through a pipe. We can measure how many gallons of water are moving through a pipe. There's all uh, all of those type of processes, we have instruments that, that will measure that. Uh, it's usually done in some manner electrically, so that uh, you know, uh, we can look at it on a display panel that tells us uh, how fast the water is moving, how much water is in a tank. But we'll also, through wiring and uh, communication systems, we'll send all that information back to our control system, where our operators uh, sit and monitor and so uh, it all interfaces with computer systems, you know. This is be our basic instrument for any electronics technician, especially in instrument tech here. It's called a, uh, a volt uh, ohm multimeter. It's, uh, as you can see, we have a pair of probes here uh, that we would go to a point and measure some sort of characteristic of electricity involved. Um, be a voltage, you're familiar with voltage like in a wall plug, 120 volts AC that, that runs everything we do, um, or it may be a really, really tiny signal of, of uh, electrical current that gets converted into data for, uh, for a computer system. So we use, we use this in basically everything we do. We'll, we'll, we'll go to a point and turn the dials to a certain scale and measure, and that will tell us what's going on with the, with the instruments. You know, everything we do here in some manner is, is tied through electricity. Work by myself sometimes, a lot of times with teams. Uh, we, we also work in conjunction with different departments. You know, uh, I'm, what I'm doing, I may get on, on the radio and talk to the operations department or the laboratory or even one of the cities like the city of Rogers, city of Springdale, see what's going on there. You'll probably see in Springdale the, the big tanks down here on the side of the hill, the big brown, tall, silver tanks that hold all your water. That's where your water is at. But we have sensors in those that, that tell how deep that water is. So we're pumping the water down there, but we need to know how much is in there. So we talk with them. What I like most is the variety of work. Uh, most days I come in, I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do that day. Just kind of find out. Uh, I have worked, uh, like you do pretty regularly, uh, sit at a desk most of the day. And Sometimes I like that, but most of the time I like to get up and move around and do different things, you know, and, uh, I just like some variety. And our department has a regular uh, schedule of during the week, during the day, so we will generally work from 7 a.m. to about 5 or 6 p.m., uh, and we're off on the weekends. We're all on what's called on call, so that in the case of uh, you know, equipment emergencies, uh, we get called and we come out on the weekend or at 2 in the morning, in the rain, whatever the conditions are go to work to, to get things working right. The requirements that were stated were, um, first of all, the high school diploma over GED, and then uh, college level electronics courses, and preferably uh, either an associate's degree, which is a two-year degree from the community college, or a bachelor's degree in either electronics or electrical engineering. The Beaver Water District requires all of its, uh, most all of its employees to obtain uh, 
water treatment and distribution licenses from the state Department of Health, Arkansas Department of Health. So there's there's a lot of once you get on the staff, there's a lot of uh, study required to learn the water treatment business, and uh, then we, of course we have to go take tests and, and to uh, have to pass these tests to, to obtain these licenses. And you don't have to uh, retake the test for the license, but um, you have to. Continuing education is required to maintain the license. So, so we have so many hours uh, each year with continuing education we have to fulfill. You know, I've spent most of my uh, working career in an industrial capacity, one, of one kind or another. I worked in uh, for a long time in the, in the film processing business where we made pictures from people's film. Um, and we did a lot of uh, we handled a lot of uh, chemicals and systems like that where we had pipes and pumps and very similar to that too out here, only things were on a much smaller scale. Pipes were this big around, you know, and pumps about this size uh, yeah. to move chemicals around. And then I get out here and I see pipes that are this big around. I've never seen anything like that. But it's, it's the same sort of thing, just a much larger scale. A lot of what this position uh, entails is being able to solve problems. Uh, we try to go through on a regular basis and service the equipment and check and calibrate it so that we don't have trouble. Uh, that's called preventive maintenance and that keeps you from having a lot of trouble with the equipment. Even so, you're still going to have trouble. Uh, so, in, so what we call that in our field is troubleshooting. We find trouble and we shoot it down. And to be able to be effective at that, you need to be able to first of all be patient Things, things don't just get fixed quick. And then you need to be persistent. Uh, things are, are not working like you want them to. Uh, you can't fix something quick. You have to stay at it. You have to be persistent. So you all remember the big ice storm. Well, we, of course, we lost power like everybody else. Of course. Now, we have three generators over there that reach the size of a school bus. Yeah, they're big, big diesel engine generator, power generators. So we were, that's the power we were on. Even so, we were going down to the lake to get to our uh, pumps down there where we pump the water up. We have a big long road down the hill to the, to the lake facilities. And it took the guys three or four hours just to, with chainsaws to cut their way down through all the, the trees that were down to get down to the pump. You know. uh, right now I'm uh, working on getting uh, the last few of our security cameras where our operations people, they have a, they have a monitor with a whole bunch of little squares of this camera or that camera where they can they can zoom it around with a joystick and look and monitor our security and so that's that's what I'm working on is getting those cameras uh, really exactly the way we want them. Back in the old days of making water when uh, we, uh, we actually would turn valves that would use air to open a big valve so the water could go through. A lot of the things were done manually and in the last 20, 30 years things move towards being handled remotely from computers and electronically, so yes, um, it's, it's an indispensable part of what they do.